Dear viewers, you would have heard the words like the mighty dollar, the world's reserve currency, the most aftersought currency, the must-have currency in your pocket. These are the adjectives that have been added to dollars. Is this equation changing? Are the days of dominance of dollar and dependency on the dollar is coming down? Let's discuss all the points pertaining to this in this video. This is NRA Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan, but your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. I am a mutual fund distributor. I am in the business of helping people invest in the mutual funds. My team of financial planners will help you to build a robust mutual fund portfolio to achieve your life goal. Whatever could be the purpose, you are planning to build funds for your children's education, retirement, building an emergency fund or to achieve some life goals that you have kept your sights on, my team will help you. How can you make best use of our service? Simple. Send a WhatsApp message on the number shown here on the screens. One of the financial planner working with us will help you to build a robust mutual fund portfolio. Why delay? Send the message now. Dear viewers, the dollar is mighty. It's called the mighty dollar. World cannot imagine itself without dollar. Dollar has become a household name, a must have currency in the pockets of NRIs a must-have currency in the foreign exchange of any single country. Dollar is really mighty. Why did the dollar is considered mighty dollar? What are the factors which worked in favor of dollar all these years? Let's look at what factors made the dollar mighty. There are several things which has gone in making the dollar mighty. The first is the trust in trade. That means if a country had enough dollars and it has parked in the US banks or with the US central bank or in US treasuries, it worked like a promise that I can depend on you and you will give back these dollars whenever I want. This is called the trust in trade. There was also the element of necessity. That means if you had to do the trade in the international markets, you must have the dollars that was driven by necessity. There was another factor which was working in favor of the dollars that is Tina factor. There is no other alternative. If you wanted to do in any other way, there was no other alternative which is available. One another factor which worked in favor of dollars is its military might. US has the strongest military in the world. The countries of the world are fearful of US military. This fear factor was also working in favor of dollars. There is one another big reason that is the economic size of US. US is the world's biggest economy. Its size runs into trillions of dollars. It's about 17 trillion dollars as of now. And because of this economic size, the countries depended on US to export or import of goods from the US. These are the factors which made the US dollar the mighty dollar of the world. Are there anything changing now? Let's look at these individual factors a little bit in detail now. If the factors that I discussed made the dollars mighty, what is that is changing or making the dollar shake a bit or are there any changes which are happening which is creating doubts in the mind of international community on the strength of the dollar or the needs of the dollar or the dominance of the dollar let's look at individual factors first is the trust in trade us did something unthinkable by using the word sanctions the countries kept its dollars in the United States banks or in its central banks or in the US treasuries. Now, by imposing sanction on another country, US froze the accounts of one another country by not allowing it to use its own money when it redid. The Ukraine-Russia war, you saw how the United States froze the accounts of Russian banks and froze all their forex which was there in the United States. It's a breach of trust. It may call it sanction. It may take the 
seat of a judge and say this is what I did for the world peace. That apart, it is a breach of trust. When somebody has deposited cash with you with an understanding that it is made available to them as and when they need it and if it is not made available, it makes a breach of trust. It could have happened for Russia alone today, but every country in the world took a cue from this and thought, can it happen to me at some point of time in future? So these doubts have crept in the minds of every other country today. US has created a breach of trust. The second factor which made the dollar mighty was the necessity. If you had to conduct your international trade, you must have had dollars. The major part of international trade happens because of crude oil and the Saudis had an agreement with the US that whenever some country gives them the dollars, they will give the crude. So if somebody is asking an oil producing country to give the oil, they used to demand for dollars. Now imagine the situation. If these countries are prepared to give you oil in a currency which is other than the United States dollar, that means the necessity of having dollar is coming down. What's happening now? Now Russia is prepared to give you oil by taking rubles instead of the dollars. Saudi is also telling, I am prepared to give you oil if you give some other currency. It has made arrangements with China now. It might be in arrangements with other countries. So there is no need that you must have dollar to get your goods and services from the world. So the necessity factor is coming down. Countries are slowly warming to the idea of giving goods and services in currencies other than the dollars. The third factor is Tina factor. There is no other alternative. Now this is also coming down. Now when the Ukraine-Russia war came in or prior to that, US has dominated the currency exchange in the world through its SWIFT system. That means the world trade was being conducted using the dollars and the dollars could be held only in the American bank. If two countries have to trade between these two, they had to be routed through an American bank and American banks have brought in the SWIFT system. That means if you choke the SWIFT system, if you take out a bank from a SWIFT system, then there is no way you could trade between the two countries. This was a Tina factor. There is no other alternative. Now the world is learning to do business the other way. Now in the recent example, China and Russia have agreed to conduct trade between two countries using Yuan and Ruble. Indian Reserve Bank said it is opening the Vostro accounts and the Nostro accounts to transact in the respective currencies of two countries. Any country can open a Vostro account in India. For the benefit of viewers, a Vostro account is a rupee account held by a bank of another country in India. A corresponding account on the other side of the country is known as a Nostro account. A Nostro account and Vostro accounts are two bank accounts held in either your own country or in the corresponding country. Now, once you transact your trade between these two countries in a currency which is other than the dollar and without going through the SWIFT system, the TINA factor is overcome. So you don't need to be doing this transaction only through the SWIFT system. When US removed the Russian banks from the SWIFT system, Russia, the business still continued with these Vostro and Nostro account. Instead of dollars, the Russian ruble was the currency which Russia demanded to carry out its trade and Europe and several countries agreed for this. As a result, while most of the currencies across globe lost their value against the dollar, the ruble is on the rise. Probably in years ahead, we may see rise of rupee or rise of the Chinese Yuan because of these arrangements. The next factor which made the dollar mighty was the fear factor, the fear of the American military. It's a mighty military force even today in the world. But over the decades, it is proved that the force cannot work. It has been proved in Vietnam. It has been badly proven in Afghanistan. Now when the Russia-Ukraine war broke, US hesitated to enter the war because it knows 
that force cannot work it participated in a war in an indirect way so the world is slowly learning that the military power alone cannot dictate terms in the world order the fear of military is slowly coming down the military may have a punitive action that it can take but it cannot put a block on the world trade or it can't permanently create disruptions so the fear about the military is also coming down and the us too knows it maintaining a large military is very expensive it's not easy and the military dominance of us is likely to come down as decades pass by the other factor which was working in favor of united states dollar is the economic size of united states today it is the biggest economy of the world now the economies are measured in dollar terms that means you take the value of the dollar and measure the economic size it's an aberration let's admit it see you think because the dollar has a value its economy is so big and the value of the dollar is a belief now look at the case of russia there was a time when russia was equally strong or perceived to be strong compared to us and the russian ruble was a mighty currency but when the russian economy melted the ruble melted along with that and its economic size dropped in dollar terms we have heard about the purchase power parity word that means you may have a dollar term and a valuation is a different way but you can also measure the economy on the purchase parity side so today because the dollar is very strong its economy is perceived to be a very big one for any reason if the economic size of us comes down because of perceived value of dollar coming down then the economic size may also come down likewise what's happening what is that the us is exporting today the exports from us are far far lesser than what it should really be it is a major importer of the world the countries around the world are dependent on us to buy the goods and services that they offer us is an importer of goods it's hardly exports anything these days except for technology the military aid and kind of a thing the strong dollar what you are seeing today is not working in favor of united states if a country has to export something its currency has to be cheaper a devalued currency whether it's a yuan whether it is an indian rupee or a japanese currency or a gbp works in favor of export from that particular country when the currency of a country becomes stronger it finds it very very difficult to export goods and services from that country now because the united states dollar is becoming stronger and stronger it will struggle to export goods and services from united states now its imports will become cheaper it can continue to consume but from where will it pay for all that the only way you can pay that is either you should export some goods and services or somebody should give you a loan if the world tries to slowly wean away itself from the dollar a time to pay back for us has come by exporting things that might result in decades ahead the weakening of dollar and that is visible now what does the data show world is slowly changing from dollar dependency at the end of 20th century 70% or more of the world trade was being done through dollars the recent data shows the dollar trade has dropped down to below 60% that means in about 10 15 years time world is slowly learning to wean itself away from dollars and conduct its business in ways other than engaging in the dollar exchange so this is a continuing trend this is not something of a trend which will happen abruptly this is slow subtle trend it takes many years or decades to gain prominence but nevertheless for whatever that is happening today the momentum will be will increase and it will accentuate as investor what should you do or what you should not do see this is a video that i have done on an information and an analysis these are slow changes this will not be a pronounced change so don't try to make any abrupt changes in your currency exposures don't try to make any knee jerk reaction 
looking at the points that I have raised here, the changes will take time. The empires will not last permanent. Empires will also have their ascendancy and they will also decline. It has happened with so many empires in the history. It happened with several empires in the Eurozone. It happened with the British Empire. Now the decline of US Empire has started. Dear viewers, hope the episode that I have done today helped you to understand what's happening with the dollar world and why the dollar might not be the most aftersought currency a few decades down the line. If it helped you to understand the slow changes which are brewing in the economy, please like this video. If you are a person who is watching my channel for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for my channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones. Thank you very much for watching this episode on NRI Money Clinic. I shall be back with you with yet another topic in yet another video very, very soon.